Y'all know Minnie's driving. All right, here she comes. You ready to do your drive? Well. So we're in Dallas, Texas now, and um, we've come into the city to uh, do a city tour. Tour. It's called the Best of Dallas, I think it is, tour. And, you know, it's going to take us to some places in, in Dallas, as opposed to us just wandering around aimlessly. We're going to do that a little bit afterwards. This is what you call a cenotaph. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. And now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Pacific Plaza. When the Texas and Pacific Railroad made it here to Dallas, that put Dallas on the map in the late 1870s. That was the ticket to Dallas becoming the prosperous city that it would become. In the 1920s, when jazz music and then later blues music was really coming on the scene, let me tell you, Deep Ellum was the place to come for that. There was an artist by the name of Blind Lemon who was very well known and popular here in Deep Ellum. I think, I think they got too much glitter for me. What do you think? The brown ones won, the brown and black ones won. And then he actually got a pair of cowgirl boots. My first pair. Your first pair of cowgirl boots. Y'all gonna see him. So between Benny and Sister Brenda, they have helped me uh, to make a decision. Uh, Brenda is a bling blinger. And Benny <laughs> like that bling bling too, so I'm gonna be blinging. Bay Landing, they have um, sites that are full hookup, 50 amp, full hookup, 30 amp. They have 30 amp that are not full hookup. They have 50 amp that are not full hookup. We're on 50 amp, not full hookup. So we had to come to Camp for our Rhino Coat. Our second one. <laughs> Our second one. That's the okay. story for another video. Yeah. <laughs> I called in about the um, tote, the 36 gallon, All right. right there. And there it is. What's your name? My name is Jeff Mix. Did you see Jeff run out the picture, y'all? <laughs> Don't run, Jeff. That's scary. <laughs> it adds, it adds like y'all are gonna be on YouTube. If that's okay, you don't mind, do you? No, I don't mind at all. Okay. We sold some boxes and stuff here. You all break this on the phone. Yeah. So, we started using Happy Camper. And I used it in the sinks, in the bathroom sink and the kitchen sink, in those two gray tanks. And for the first time since I've had the RV, 
I saw those lights go to empty. That there was uh, amazing enough to make me consider switching to Happy Camper versus TST. Um, I've always shown empty when I when I uh, flush the sewage tank, but I've never shown empty on the two gray tanks. It's always been, you know, two thirds full, you know, or full right after I empty, you know, the tanks. But I put that happy camper in there. So we are looking for uh, happy campers. Unfortunately, it seems like you can't buy it in the stores because I've never seen a store with it. So we have to order it on the Amazon. I'm looking to get the vent covers for um, the Max Air vent in the kitchen, which has the water sensor on it. And I want a cover for the bathroom vent fan that you open up manually. But I'm not sure which ones they are. So if anybody knows, then feel free to send me a message and let me know which one I need to get for which for each one. Um, we're not going to get them here because I don't want to get because when you when you buy not knowing what you're buying and it's all willy nilly, then like something like that, I might buy it, open it and then put it on, try to put it on and scratch it up, you know, and then it don't fit. Then I have to go through the hassle of bringing it back and Camping World put it back on. Well, they're not going to put it back on the shelf. See, they're going to do whatever they're going to, but either way, they might lose money on it. So I'm not going to buy it and it don't work and then I have to bring it back. I'll wait until I can figure out um, which ones I actually need. So, if you know, let me know. What you got? Well, here, this here. For them plates, because I've been worried about them sliding and breaking. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. My no, wife's have pretty to smart. Try to stack something on paper towel and paper cloths and all that. Maybe we can put like Velcro instead of drilling holes in the thing. No, you don't. You don't have to. It's got a no slip slide. All that needs to be so that they don't slide around. It don't have to be drilled. Okay. Oh, so they don't slide individually? No. They'll okay. Be inside that circle. So. Okay. That works. That works. That works. That works. Yeah. Y'all need some help loading this? Yeah. Okay, you gotta get some See, I told y'all. Um, told y'all she'll end up buying more because she always does. So we came for this, and we're leaving with that. Trails Park in Bridgeport, Texas. The concept of the park is really nice. It's a big park. It's, it has some amenities. We didn't get a chance to get out and walk the park, um, but it has some amenities. Some need to be worked on. Some are pretty nice. But the, the worst thing about this place is this road. 
it's one mile long. It's a mile long and it is horribly rutted and it's just not good for your axles, especially if you're carrying a full load of water. So when we travel and we're going to a full hookup site place, then we'll only have about, you know, a third of water in our, um, in our tank. And many noticed that we didn't have a third of water. And I was gonna go back and put a third of water in back to the site. Glad I didn't, because that would probably just be too much weight, you know, on the axles and on this road. Not that it would do any immediate, it would damage it immediately, but long-term consequences on a road like this, you know, is bad. So I think, you know, the park could probably receive a really high uh, grade from me, you know, if the roads were fixed. Aside from the fact that there are full-timers there who some don't take care of their properties, some of them do, you know, aside from all of that, um, this road is what continue really one mile to the end of the street then turn left one mile to the end of the street we're still on the road it just so it's more like a mile and a half um, but this road could really make the difference in the grade of this park hmm. oh, I'm looking so. at here I see that car up being the person standing out I wonder what they're looking at hmm. no telling yeah, it's, this road is rutted and washboard, a lot of it. I'm going to look for an Amazon hub near where we're going. Hmm? I'm going to look for an Amazon hub near where we're going so I can try to get the uh, happy camera. Just that, like these places who don't give us no confirmation, you don't get nothing. Ain't much you could do. Yeah. You know, but they don't. They don't give you anything. So when you get here, you, just do what you have is. to just say going by whatever somebody told you on the phone. Yeah. So we're going up here, and we're going to the right up here, and we're, I guess we're like right up here. Okay. It's like 70. Here you go. All right. And this is the map of the 
city guide to Lubbock, which is not far away. the time